could feel the blade cutting. I really thought I was going to die. They say it's tradition. Which type of tradition? I am an activist because I was mutilated at the age of five. I'm an NFGM campaigner. I'm a journalist and an activist. What I go through, I don't want any girls to go through it. This practice must stop. a campaigner for 10 years now. TV, radio, I didn't know how to use them. I used to knock doors talking to people. And my work was never recognized. But now I can say I'm very confident. I've amplified my work through social media, Twitter, WhatsApp, Facebook. I've seen a lot of changes in my community since I've begun engaging the religious leaders. Muslim leaders have delinked the Islamic religion from female genital mutilation, saying the act is sinful. The circumcision of women is not allowed in Islam. Bishop himself has just told us that FGM is not his religion and that is something that we embrace so much. I must say it's been a revolutionary journey of discovery for me as I've learned so much about the media and I've been exposed to the digital world. So far I've appeared in more than 10 TV stations and radio stations in Nigeria reaching 150 million people. Can you hear me? I can hear loud and clear, Saudi. Assalamu alaikum. Our main focus here is to the link, to show how this is not linked with Islam. Many people are getting the message clearly. Using the media to end FGM is really, really, really very important. It is working. It is working well. People are now changing their perception. This is definitely as a result of the media campaigns on the ground. And with sustained media messaging, we will be able to achieve our abandonment goal.